Hi, this is Mick Dennis from Mick Dennis 4 on YouTube. I recently picked up a mandolin and this is my second video. Uh, and I'm just going to share with you um, an arrangement of Norwegian wood that I just kind of figured out uh, a little while ago. So I'll just uh, break it up into some different sections and uh, kind of rough through it and then I'll kind of play my own little arrangement of it. So so I'm going to be playing it in the key of, of D. So it's like a D chord to a C chord. So uh, if you want to play it in the Beatles uh, key, you would just have the capo too. But since I'm so new to mandolin, I just, I'm just deciding to just play it without the capo. So your basic melody is starting here on this A note. A, B, A, G. And I'm going to be playing off of this, kind of off of this D chord. So A, B, A, G. Open, and that note right there. Okay, and then right here. Okay, I'll do the. I'll just do the melody by itself. So, da, open three two five three three two open. Okay, so then your the basic chords I decided to use. I'm just gonna use this kind of partial D chord. Now, and then you have to kind of decide for yourself what kind of fingering you want to use. So I'm just using three, so. So, so I'm ending back on sort of a traditional uh, D chord, so. And then open. So now I'm hitting that with an upstroke. That's something I do a lot of my guitar arrangements, just to kind of emphasize that, that melody note. Okay, now for the next one, so on the on the guitar version, they go to like a C add nine chord. So you're gonna be here, C chord. Right, so you got do, do C chord, do, do, and then right here, the melody is. So what I'm gonna do there, do, and then this is gonna be kind of like your G slash B on guitar, right? And then, all right, so if you just hit those inner strings, that's just basically like a, like a, like a D power chord. So then you can just kind of sneak in that that A note there. So, okay. So now, if you happen to end up on the second finger, no big deal. So you just switch it out for your next round. Open three, two, five. Then the C chord. The G, kind of like a G chord here. And then, back to the, okay, I'll play that. I'll just play that uh, first section, kind of in a in a kind of a loose timing. So, see, how I switched up my finger there. So that's the that's the first section. Okay, now the second section is going to a D minor chord. So, so what I figured out here, because uh, I'm not primarily a mandolin player, I'm just primarily a guitar player. So I figured I could just go here, and I need that uh, that F note. Right. So that's that next step. So I'm just kind of playing like a like a I guess you call it like a D minor chord first. Open five the day where she asked me to Right, so that's the melody, and then it's basically a G chord on guitar. I'll do it again. So I'm making sure that I'm just playing the bottom three strings so I get the melody on top. Okay, then the D minor again. Okay, and then it goes to like an E minor or E minor seventh here. So I'm just add, adding this E note here. And then it goes to an A or A seventh chord. So what I came up with here is I'm just moving this down to the C sharp. And I'm just going to bar here. For okay, so I'll get it again from the D minor. And here's my E minor chord. And then here's my A chord. So two, two, four. And, and 
actually, you can add this uh, high E note. That, it it kind of adds something to it. Okay, so let me do that whole um, second section, the, the D minor section, uh, in kind of a loose uh, timing. section which is kind of kind of deep kind of deep mixolydian so I didn't know how I'm switching that finger out watching.